the All Progressives Congress APC, National Chairman, Comrade Adams Oshiomola on Tuesday insisted that there would be no going back over a plan to impeach Senate President, Senator Bukola Syraki after his defection to People's Democratic Party, PDP. This is coming just as Speaker of the House of Representatives Yakubu Dogera was conspicuously missing at the meeting of the National Assembly Caucus of the ruling APC with the leadership of the party, where plans on how to impeach Senate President was reportedly perfected. While addressing the lawmakers before they entered into a closed-door meeting, APC National Chairman, Comrade Adam Zoshiomola, insisted that the Senate President Staraki, who is now in a minority party cannot continue to preside over the majority, the APC members. According to him, Saraki's move to approach the court to stop his impeachment will be an exercise in futility because it is the Senate that would determine who would lead them. Oshiomola said, in all of these, one thing is clear, the Senate president cannot change the real narrative in the Senate. The minority can have their say, and the majority will have their way at the Senate. If they have only 49, and the APC have 56, they will tell us anywhere in the world, where the minority will produce the leaders of the House. We cannot be subjected to a minority rule in Nigeria. Whether Senator Saraki likes it or not he can only take the part of honor by allowing the APC to take its rightful leader of the Senate. If not he would be impeached lawfully and democratically, as the governing party, we are committed to leading with example. In everything we do we ensure it is in the provisions of the law, including the impeachment of Senator Saraki, we have very important issues which require the NAS to deliberate on before the presiding officers hurriedly adjourn the assembly. Also read, National Assembly shut down, protesters in Lagos defy rain to demand probe the issue of obtaining foreign loans, without which the government cannot perform, the Viment and the President's request for the approval of N242BN for INEC. You must act to actualize these so that the democracy would not shut down as expected by Saraki. These issues require your serious attention to ensure that government gets the required assistance to provide the dividends of democracy to Nigerians, he stated. Oshiomola also assured the APC lawmakers that the party will reward the loyal members. Also speaking, the Senate Majority Leader, Ahmed Lawin, insisted that the National Assembly must be reconvened before next week's Allah holiday. We are insisting that the National Assembly must be reconvened quickly so that we settle the issues of INEC budget, foreign loans and 2018 budget violent. To do otherwise means sabotaged. If we fail to pass the budget, it will serve the PDP very well, but it could spark a serious constitutional crisis. The country would be shut down, I am sure this is a season of regrets because those who have left APC are full of regrets. They are not finding it easy with their new parties, every member here has faced one issue or the other, especially with their state governors. We urge you to intervene very quickly and reconcile all the issues before we go into primary elections, we really appreciate your moves so far, and we urge you to carry it to the last. Your word of promise to reward our loyalty to the party. We need ourselves to be together. So we all must accommodate each other. For the Deputy Speaker, Yusuf Lassen and the House Leader Femi G. Bajab Irmila thank the APC National Chairman for the word of assurance that the party will reward their loyalty.